In Chapter 20, we toggle back to defeat boss, with a simple but meaningful challenge to solve. The boss has a full set of breaker skills, but with only 5 skill slots, they had to leave out one weapon type, which is coincidentally shurikens. It just so happens that our main combat unit has ninja access, giving us a reliable boss skill. The other part of the puzzle is getting Saizo to reach the boss, who is very close to our starting position but separated by walls. And while Saizo may have to switch back to Master Ninja for its combat, he can perform a simple trick to get past the wall, made possible by his time spent in Malignite. Like Chapter 18, we get a few faceless in front of our starting position, serving as an opportunity for some kills and weapon experience. At this point, I'm running out of ways to optimize such opportunities, since almost everyone is already set for the rest of the game, or else has plenty of time to get their final push. So instead, I decided to optimize for reliability, getting just about a 100% chance of success, while preemptively capping off some unit skulls. Hinoko reaching level 5 for rally speed will be important by chapter 22, and Tsubaki being level 2 and Reina getting close to level 5 will technically be relevant for chapter 23. I also finally get Kagodo to reach level 20 here. As nice as an early promotion sounded for previous maps, getting a ton of strength and speed from level ups on top of promotional gains is a lot more important to me for one upcoming map in particular. Another side objective for the map is to defeat a faceless in the center for 5000 gold. This is pretty simple, just needing someone to get refreshed and defeat them across the wall. You can use Hinoka for this with a Bolt Naginata to get her an extra kill, but since he's already level 5 for me, I leave it up to Scarlet for the greater consistency. Then for the boss, there's a generic faceless you can attack from across the wall, which you can target with Lunge to jump straight into the boss's range. For a 1 turn clear, this Lunge user needs a 1-2 range weapon that can defeat the boss, 2 range for the Lunge, and 1 range to counterattack. You always have Scarlet with Lunge, but she doesn't have sufficient 1-2 range options. However, a strong 1-2 range Lunge user perfectly aligns with Saizo as our boss killer, who's using a shuriken to reliably one down the boss anyway, and has been using Lunge for several chapters by now. We'll be switching him back to Malignite eventually, but for the next couple chapters, his combat in Master Ninja is more preferable, and we can get away without Malignite's higher movement. No other way. And that's it for 20 completed in one turn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.